What's up guys, today we are going to be talking about the One UI 4.1 update for the Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus. So I did this video for the uh, Note 20 Ultra when that hit, so this has finally came out, so I just wanted to update you guys. And if you want to update, you go ahead and check for the update and click download. I just got mine today, I believe, so if you still haven't gotten it, uh, give it some time here. But we are on the One UI 4.1, so I just want to briefly go over all of the essential features that you guys need to know. And I want to go over one of the most, I won't say most important ones, but since this is an older phone, I think this would be a pretty good one to know right off the bat. So when you go into settings here, and we're going to go down, and we're going to type on battery and device care. We're going to go to memory. Alright, so you'll see an option called RAM Plus now. So this will allow you to add more virtual RAM, but just remember it actually takes up the storage, right? Uh, now you can go with six gigs and it will restart your phone. Now this is for if your phone is feeling a little sluggish when you open up a ton of applications, you might want to, you know, add that virtual RAM to it. It'll help uh, the phone just run overall smoother. I think this is a pretty big feature. Uh, for older flagships, especially depending on how much RAM you have. But with the Note 10 Plus, you have about 12 gigs of RAM on here, and in general, the phone is pretty smooth. But like I said, in the future, um, you know, uh, maybe a year or two years from now, that could be uh, pretty useful for you. Um, so just know that on default, it's at four, you can even go up to eight. Um, but I think if you do want to go ahead and mess with that, I put it at six and I didn't have any issues with it. Um, but I went ahead and just put it back to four because um, for the extra storage. Like I said, this will take up you know the storage. All right, so next is going to be your smart widgets. So if you're somebody that really likes widgets, I think this is a pretty big one as well. So you just hold the home screen down, tap widgets, and you'll see something called smart widgets. So it'll give you like, you have these three layouts. Basically, it's just widget stacking. So if I go ahead and add that there, um, as you can see, I can scroll through my widgets here. As you can see, let's add the other one. And it's very cool. You can also just add other widgets as well, which I'll show you. So we already have our weather here. But I'm going to hold this down, and then you can see current widget settings. You look at that. I can change the transparency uh, of the widget if I want to. Kind of give it like a cool little look there. You can change it to black, right? That looks that, that looks really good. And I want to show you guys the add widget to smart widget. So let's say I want to add, uh, let's say TikTok. Why not? So I can see like my like little TikTok things. I don't know what's up with this. Should be showing something. Oh, I'm not signing in. I have to update it or something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta see it pop up now. So you can see I, my trending. I, let's go ahead and add another one. Uh, let's see. Let's see. We can do our photos. Why not? To add my oh okay hold on let's try another one uh let's try internet so you can just can play around with that add widgets to it uh like I said it's basically like iOS uh widgets it's a really clean way to have your phone organized um so I really like it I, uh Google needs to adopt this and put it on the stock version of Android. Um, I think it's just an awesome feature, so that's really good on Samsung's part. The next is in the gallery, so let's just go ahead and look for a photo. And if we tap the three little dots right here, you can see now I can add a portrait effect to this now. So do you guys see, well hold on, do you guys see how the background was clear? Now it's blurred, it gives me that more portrait, I'm more in focus now. So. No, I can't zoom in, but I can go ahead and do the intensity. So now, as you can see, it's even blurrier, and I can sort of toggle it. So if I turn it to zero, you can see it's really clear now. Turn it all the way up, you can see it's very blurry now. So it gives you that nice, really portrait shot. Um, that so you know, if you're looking for that type of look, then this is really awesome. You can also convert it back um, if you desire to as well. 
Um, so that is also something that I really like. All right, so the next one, not really that much of a change. So you hold down wallpapers and styles and the color palette has changed. Like I said, it's essentially, it's just a different look here, uh, but it gives you a more sophisticated, more detailed look. Um, as you guys can see here when you're applying your wallpapers and everything still works the same it still applies to your background so my icons will change you can see the color palette up here change all that stuff will match uh, my wallpaper just like on the stock Android one and the next one which I thought was in one UI 4.0 but somebody mentioned it so I'll just go ahead and throw it in here but it's the magic eraser so we'll click on this you click on the three dots in the gallery not the Google photos and then you, or not this, not the three dots, you click right here, edit image, and then you click on the three dots, and you can see object eraser. This is essentially the same thing that they have in Google Photos, so you guys can see, I'm gonna just draw and erase this. I want this whole thing out my picture. Click erase, and then boom, it does its best job to try to erase it. Now it doesn't look that great, but it's really for like maybe getting people out of the background of an of a shot so like maybe someone's in the background of your shot I would use it for something like that um I wonder if I could uh, I'm try to remove my beard right here I just want to see what it would do like I said it's mostly for like that that type of stuff So, I mean, you can just play around with it. Oh, yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know about that one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, those are all your essential uh, features, guys. So, definitely take a look. Um, Performance-wise, I have not noticed anything. Uh, still, everything running smooth. Definitely, if you were having performance issues, definitely upgrade. It uh, could fix it because I know a lot of people have performance issues with One UI 4.0. Um, but yeah, check that out. Let me know what you guys think and I'll catch you guys in the next one.